Hello, algebra students. Tonight we're going to talk about uh, inequalities, um, and so you should have the 10-1 order of real numbers guided notes template out. An inequality is a statement formed by placing an inequality symbol between numerical or variable expressions. And so we have several types of inequalities, so we just want to make sure we're clear on those. So you're probably familiar with them, but let's just get it cl uh, very clear in our vocabulary. We have the less than symbol. And just remember that the less than one is the one that kind of looks like a squished L. We have the greater than symbol. And we have less than or equal to, so it's got the less than with the equal sign kind of underneath it. So you can see they're kind of combined, so that's less than or equal to. And then we have greater than or equal to. So inequalities with variables, we have variables, then those are open sentences. And you want to think about, okay, do you solve or simplify inequalities by finding values? You, If you're finding values for the variable, you are solving inequalities. And you're finding values from the domain of the variable. And that just means the kind of choices that the variables could stand for. So we have the inequality y plus 5 is less than or equal to 7 if y is an element of negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is an example of that domain. It's like the possibility of the choices of solutions. And so let's take a look at each inequality. So we have that y plus 5 is less than or equal to 7, and we want to plug in our possible solutions. So first domain value, negative 1, so we'd have negative 1 plus 5 is less than or equal to 7. A negative 1 plus 5 would give me 4, and 4 is less than 7, so that's true um, if y is negative 1. And then we have a possibility of 0, so we look at, okay, 0 plus 5 less than or equal to 7, and 0 plus 5 is 5, and 5 is less than or equal to 7, so again, that's true. Our next choice is 1. 1 plus 5, less than or equal to 7. Okay, 6 is less than or equal to 7. So again, true. 2, 2 plus 5, less than or equal to 7. 2 plus 5 is 7, which is less than or, or equal to 7. So still true because it's equal to. And then uh, we get to 3. 3 plus 5, less than or equal to 7. Well, 3 plus 5 is 8, and that is not less than or equal to 7, so that's false. And then we have 4 plus 5, less than or equal to 7. That's 9, less than or equal to 7, also false. And so our solution set are the ones that make this statement true. So our solution set is negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. And then if we graph that solution, that means we're putting it on a number line. So we're going to make ourselves a nice, evenly spaced number line here. I'm going to give myself 0, 1, 2, 3, going a little above what I need. Negative 1, negative 2, going a little below what I need, just to show the scale 
of the graph and then I want to graph those solutions. So I want to graph negative 1, so I'm going to put a dot on negative 1. I want to graph 0, so I'm putting a dot on 0. I want to graph 1 and 2. So in example 2, we're looking at graphing negative 3 is less than or equal to x, which is less than 2 over the domain of all real numbers. So we've got kind of a combination of things there, plus we're looking at all real numbers. So we want all the values of x that are greater than or equal to negative 3 and, and the values that are less than 2. So it has to comply with both pieces. Now we need to clarify some things before we graph. We need to talk about a closed dot and an open dot. An open dot on the graph means it cannot equal the value. That value is not a solution. Whereas, uh, and that that is going to be what you use when you have the greater than or the less than because it's not including those values. And then when we have a closed dot, that is where that value is a solution. So we use the closed dot when we're talking about less than or equal to because that value could be equal to or greater than or equal to. All right, so let's go back to our statement and take a look at the graph. So again, we want to graph, so we're going to put a number line and we want that number line to include our possibilities. So I'm going to make a number line that in you know encompasses negative 3 to 2, a little beyond that. So I've got 1, 2, going a little beyond what I need on the right and then to the left, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3 is what I need. I'm going to go a little beyond that. And I want to graph those values. So I want the x values including all the decimals and fractions in between that are greater than or equal to negative 3. Now because negative 3 can be a solution, that gets a closed dot. And I want things greater than that, so I'm going to shade greater than that. And I want to shade all the way up to 2 where I want x values that are less than 2, but 2 is not less than 2, so 2 cannot be included, so that needs an open dot as the boundary. So then this graph shows all those values that are from negative 3, including negative 3, so including negative 3 because of the closed dot, all the way up to the boundary of the number that is, you know, just lower than 2, so less than 2, but 2 is not included. Because of the open circle. Make sure you take any questions into your teacher.